Well, the other Jackson County team competing in the state semis round, the Ganado Indians, who may have been counted out before the year started. Now, kind of hard to overlook a team that is now just one win away from playing for a state title. The Ganado Indians are still gold ball hunting after a thrilling upset over the referral Bobcats. They were heavy underdogs in that game, and they won't be favored against Timpson either, but not many teams are left standing. The Indians feel like they have as good a shot as any. There's four teams left. All four teams are really, really good. Uh, from here on out, you got to play really good football uh, to keep advancing. You got to execute well during the game. And so, I mean, we're not putting much stock into it. I know, uh, listening to some of the assistant coaches, that, yeah, we're not giving a very good shot outside of uh, the area, but it is what it is. We just got to go play and, uh, and go execute. The young Indian squad grew a lot as a team on the field and mentally, something quarterback Bryce Ullman says is a reason why they are still here. This past game that we had, um, it wasn't no belief anymore. We, we Our expectation was to win, and, um, I mean, we went out and dominated. The Indians call this the haters tour. This is for all those who may have written them off, but Ganado didn't write back. A lot of people didn't have us. I don't even think people had us coming out of our district this year, or some people didn't, and um, or at least making it to the state semis. But um, we proved a lot of them wrong, and shoot, we're going to keep it going. Irving is the head coach, but he gives credit to the entire program for buying in and seeing the vision of what could be. For the rest of y'all's lives, I hope that y'all know when you put your mind to whatever you want to do, no matter what anybody tells you, and you work together as a team, anything's possible, you feel me? I think it speaks to the the, the assistant coaches that we have and then the, the leadership on the team that we have. Um, the players have bought into what we're selling. Um, they're playing really, really good football right now, and, and, and the results are showing. And so it's exciting to see. We do our job every play. We're going to win. It's that simple. And you, it's not a belief. you got to expect to win. you got to know you're going to do it. No question about what Ganado is capable of now. The only question mark, just how far will they go? The boys are ready to continue their already impressive run. All of us are hyped and uh, we're ready to go. And uh, shoot, we, had, we already had a shot at number two. Now we got a shot at number one. So we're ready for uh, we're ready for the challenge. And uh, I feel like it's going to be a great game. And that will lead us to your viewer poll. What is your confidence level in the Ganado Indians to advance the state? About 73% of you range from very confident to extremely confident, and less than 10% of you are not confident. So. That's a small number. Safe to say Ganado turning a lot of heads that game Thursday at 7 